Ugh. Hello, everyone. Sorry for my absence. Uh, the spotty upload schedule with the Seaman series and all that. It's taken, it's like the longest one I've ever had to record per episode and the longest I've ever had to edit with the way that they're overlapping screens fading in and out and just like to really absorb all of Seaman, you gotta, you gotta record like a whole bunch, right? And it's normally not such a big deal, but some things have happened. So firstly, I'm not quitting this. I'm not disappearing. I'm just, hear me out, okay? So something happened, right? I also sorry to the patrons for uh, being late on a few of the perks. It's not something I ever want to do for people who are being so kind as to donate and to support my, my work. But basically, I got fired. Or rather, I'm going to be fired here at the end of this year. That's my Christmas present, <laughs> is that uh, I'm losing the thing that I actually make money with. So I have to make a choice, right? I have to make a choice on uh, like what are the, which of these things do I think has the most potential to have me not going back to my old line of work which was, I, I'm not going to say which one it is, because I don't want to like disparage anyone who is working in that field. Just know that it was degrading, it was terrible. I don't want to ever go back to it, right? So I have to like, I'm kind of doing, I was doing three things. And until the end of the year, I still am doing three things. And I'm not really doing any of them particularly well, right? Because I'm dividing my, uh, my time up between my video editing job, which makes me the actual money, between this channel and between this stream thing I'm doing now. Uh, and I have to choose, like, which one of these things do I think is going to work, right? But, I, I guess I'm choosing the streams. I'm choosing Twitch, because, like, not many people are watching C-Man, it takes a long time to edit, and I, I kind of have the same problem that I had in my, in my old channel, where, like, my subscribers are going up, but the views are staying pretty much at the same level. My retention isn't good enough, and, like, that's, that's something I'm not, like, I'm not just blaming YouTube for. Like, I know there are things I could have done better, but that's what I'm saying is I've, I've split myself across all of these things. With the, If I had just this channel to focus on, I would have done merch, I would have done more varied content, I would have changed things up to keep you guys coming back, right? So it's not on you. Don't blame yourselves. Um, I'm still gonna be doing series here, though. Uh, series, I'm not going to be doing... Uh, like everyday uploads or whatever. I'm going to upload the rest of what I have for Seaman and then I'm going to uh, come back basically in December when the Beelzebubmon and the Dukemon Pendulum version 20th drop and I'll do a full series on those because I know people watch those. People are interested in those. Um, so we'll be doing that. And then in March next year, whenever the Digimon X, the new like huge one drops, I'm definitely going to do a series on that one. Uh, that one's going to be like at least like a month long or whatever, right? So... What does that mean? Uh, what am I going to change going forward? For Well, obviously, I'm going to freeze the Patreon. With me uploading so spottily, it doesn't really make sense for me to have people paying on months where I don't have anything to make. And I don't want that pressure either. You know, I don't want to be constantly like, you got to create something. You got to make something. You got to keep going. People are paying you to do these things. So I'm just going to, after the end, at the end of this month, uh, I'm just going to freeze it. I'm going to give out the rewards that I, I have to give out this month. Uh, you know, the comics, the art. Uh, and the, uh, the pins, the button pins, the exclusive Gerald button pins, I'll give those out and then it's gonna freeze and, uh, I'll come back to this channel after Seaman's fully uploaded in, like, December, right? So, uh, I'll probably also be uploading Seaman, like, every other day, because it just, it just takes a lot longer to edit and record, way longer than just the regular virtual pets. Which kind of sucks, because, like, it doesn't seem to be that big of a, like, like, that, that popular of a series, right? Uh... People who like it love it though. I've had I've had more people come up to me physically and be like, "Dude, me and my wife watched this," or "Oh my god, me and my brother were talking about this series." Like people were actually like approaching me within my within my circle of influence, which normally never happens. No one comes up and they're like, "Wow, you know that Digimon stuff, right?" Because you know our community, our Digimon community, is kind of insulated. We're kind of in our own little bubble, you know. Never really grows. People just kind of come back and you know. But, uh, so yeah, it's like, Seaman has a very passionate following, and I, I hope I, I'm not putting you out too much, you, you guys, but, uh, it just doesn't make sense. I have until the end of the year. I have, like, two months to make streams work, or I go back to my old line of work, which was awful, and I hate it. And that's my situation right now. I'm sure there's other stuff I'm forgetting to talk about. Hold on. Right. Since I will be putting all my chips on the streaming square, I will be actually streaming more. I'll be streaming earlier in the day. I plan on streaming some Monster Hunter and some Digimon content. So you won't be entirely put out if you're here for the Digimon stuff. Um, there are a lot of games that I still wanted to play. And if I can get my camera situation figured out, I would love to be able to actually stream these these virtual pet diaries. Like in the morning, we have like, you know, the Joe show or whatever, right? Cup of Joe. I mean, it probably won't be called that. Because that's stupid, it's too easy, right? 
then again, the easy ones usually end up doing well. Cup of Joe? Probably not. No, I don't... I'll think about that one. But basically, I would love to have, like, a morning stream show where I'm actually, like, showing you my digital pets and we're drawing all the stuff and it's all live, right? And, like, it's, it won't be edited because it's live. Uh, and then I go on to, like, play uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth or Digimon World Next Order or something like that for a while, right? Like, uh, I also am planning on streaming IRL stuff like Banjo. I love to practice Banjo. I don't know if you can see in this shot right here. Uh, I love wood whittling. I practice Japanese. I, uh... I, I draw stuff, you know, like we could we could have a thing. It's just I don't really think there's a future for me on YouTube You know, I've tried for a while and more and more YouTube has become almost exclusively the land of the really obnoxious and really attractive and I just don't think that they're supporting gaming and, and at like at all like all of the networks that used to be here They used to have huge presences at, at all the conventions I'd go to like, you know maker who owns Polaris who was the network that all the big gaming YouTubers were on for a while there. Like, they had no presence at PAX last year. It was kind of sad. Like, I went to PAX two years ago. They had parties that if you got into, they were... You would get it, you would get invited. There would be an open bar, so it was like free booze if you're into that stuff, right? And, uh, that's like... It's huge, right? You, you get a free battery backup, a free shirt. I still have the shirt. It's a nice shirt, you know? But then this year, they weren't there at all. No parties, no presents, no booth, nothing. So, YouTube has almost entirely dried up for gaming. There's like only two or three people left and I don't know how long they're gonna last either. Everyone's moving over to Twitch, right? So normally I wouldn't do this. I like our community. I like, I like this. I love this stuff. I, that's why I did it. That's why I did it despite it not really being uh, profitable. I was just sinking money into this thing because I love it. Because it was my hobby in the first place and I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, but no, now, now I'm in this position where I have to make a choice, and I really don't want to go back to my old line of work. It was very degrading, and I hated it so much. I, I just don't want to do that, you know? So, I mean, even if it's like, if, even if it wasn't that bad, it's still just the choice I've made, you know? So, yeah. I'll be freezing the Patreon. Probably won't bring it back up. If you still want to support us, we're going to be putting up a Patreon uh, for Moose and Joe for our Twitch thing, we're raising money to get equipment. Like right now, I'm still recording this off of my camera phone. I'm sure you can tell because of how bad and purple everything looks. I don't know why it does that. What I see right now is pleasant sunlight colors. Light yellows, faint good, good things. You probably see red and purple. I have no idea why my phone does that. But I would love to be able to even get like a GoPro, like a refurbished GoPro would be nice. And so if you want to help us out with that, uh, you know, go to patreon.com forward slash moose n joe uh, and you can help us out there I'm always going to be creating stuff I'm always going to be here even if I have to go back to my old line of work I'll still be making stuff even if it's not as often as it is now um, but I'll still be doing it because I love it and I, I loved having everyone support that I don't know why I say past tense I, I do hope that you'll consider following me uh, in, in our continuation there. Like, w let me know, like, would you be interested if I streamed, like, Digimon stuff? If I, if I do get, like, a GoPro or whatever the, like, the hot camera thing is to stream this stuff live, all the stuff that I do here live, would you watch it, you know? You could still watch the, the, the highlights of it. Basically, every time I stream, I go through and I, I, I clip the relevant moments. So I could just, you know, if you want to just see the digital pet part, I can just clip that part, because if you don't want to watch the whole show, you're like, oh, I don't want to skip around. I'm just going to, I just want to see what happened today with the Digimon or the Tamagotchis. Uh, you can go into our videos and just find a highlight and I'll just call it like, you know, Digimon blank day one. It'll just be like this, like what we did here, but on Twitch and it'll be live. So, and you can interact with us. We, you can talk with us. You can be there right there when we name the Digimon. It's actually pretty exciting, you know, it's actually pretty cool. So I guess I'm rambling. I always do that. That's, that's what I do, like my thing. Oh yes, one last thing, Sam Krieger, didn't forget you. I mean, I did, but then the paper didn't forget you, which, and I wrote the paper, so I didn't forget you. Uh, I'm gonna return your stuff to you. Sam Krieger, if you don't remember, he uh, sent a box of Digimon toys, a bunch of Digimon little pets and stuff that I wanted, uh, that he wanted to let me play with. And it's been so cool. The only one that I want to do before I send it back is the Digimon XL, but since uh, Joe, I met, uh, not me Joe, but another Joe, uh, he, the Lonely Distance, if you remember, uh, he actually met me at PAX. We actually met up, and he passed along a bunch of plates for the Digimon Axel, and, uh, 
I have it all packaged away just to keep it all safe. It's, it's probably not good to keep all that stuff out anyway because of dust and all that. But basically, it's, it seems like a missed opportunity if I don't do a small series on the XL now that we have all these plates. And then once I'm done with that, Sam, I will send you everything back. Thank you so much for letting me use all that. But uh, with the way that we're kind of reducing this to a uh, when stuff happens kind of schedule, because that's what it is now. Like, I'll, I will make series when new cool Digimon pets come out. Um, I don't feel cool holding on to your stuff anymore, Sam, so I'll send them back to you. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it, you know? Like, to my patrons, thank you so much for everything. Like, you uh, you kept this going. I would have I would have stopped doing this, like, four five months ago if it weren't for you guys. Have we even been back that long? Wait, have we even... Have we even been back that long? Well, the point is, I don't think I could have done this nearly as long as I did. I wouldn't have been able to buy uh, any of these new lights. I wouldn't have been able to get any uh, new equipment. It just would have not been possible, you know? Uh, and I, I appreciate that you valued what I did. And I, I, I hope that you'll go with me to the next thing. Because um, I think Twitch has a lot of potential still. And I think it's my best bet to stay out of that one line of work. So everyone, thanks for coming by, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Seaman. Uh, those guys get stranger every day. Now they're at this point where they're adults and they're asking me questions. In the last episode, the Seaman like straight up outed me. He, he figured out my age, my, 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 my sign, my astrological sign. He decided who I was like by that, and then I have other episodes on Backlog where he asks about my girlfriend and my child, and he starts talking about our relationships based on our astrological signs. Is it astrological? Astronomy? Astro uh, zodiac? Zodiac signs? I think that's it. <laughs> and it's just weird. There's this, there's this point where he starts asking me about my dad, and that that episode gets weird, because it's, it's a weird subject for me. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. Thank you all for everything. Uh, I'm not disappearing. I'm just going to do what's best for me in the short run. And this content will pretty much, as soon as I'm able to afford a camera, as soon as the next Patreon, this other Patreon makes it to where we can get a, an actual camera so we're not using just a crappy phone, uh, I can actually take that camera, plug it into my PC, stream that stuff live, and I can stream all of this live. So that's something I'm, I'm most excited for, and I think that's most relevant to everyone here. I'm gonna go. Bye. Sorry, that's I have to make it that shorter. I'll just keep looping. Bye.